All right, boys and girls, welcome to your clay lesson. Um, this is what fifth grade's going to be making. You're going to be making roses. These are inspired by Italian pottery called Capota Monte. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these. All right, and I made a whole bunch. They're kind of cool because they all look different. Okay, and then they'll look really neat when we paint them after they're fired. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you only need just a small handful of clay like this. And you can break it up into two or three pieces. What you're going to do is you're going to start rolling it. You can either hold it up in the air and roll it or you can lay it down, okay, into a coil. So I'm doing this trying to do this on a plate and it's not working out too well. So you're going to get a coil about the thickness of your finger. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, if your coil is a little funky, it actually works better. Okay, so see, the, here's my coil. Okay, it doesn't have to be super long. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you get the coil, you're going to lay it out in front of you, and you're going to start to pinch the top edge of it so it kind of flattens out. And it does not, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want you to focus on getting it perfect. Okay? These look better when it's not perfect because flowers have a lot of variations. Roses have a lot of interesting variations. So you'll get that. You'll get more of a feel for that if yours is not perfect. Okay, so I flattened mine out. You can see it's flat on top. The bottom's still kind of rounded. The top's kind of flat. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one end and I'm going to start curling it in. Okay, I'm going to work Slowly and carefully, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing as I work. Okay, can you start to see kind of a rose forming there? And as you work, if you feel like it needs, rose petals have some separation. So if you feel like you want to make some separation or if your clay has natural cracks, and you want to start to kind of fold the petals or shape the petals, feel free to do that. You can do that. Make your rose unique. Okay. And keep going. Now, if you have a short coil, then you'll have a smaller rose, kind of like this one that I made. This coil I made was nice and long, so this rose is going to be a pretty big one. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back where there were cracks. And I'm going to kind of shape those. Make it look like it was on purpose. Okay. That's what Bob Ross calls a happy accident. Okay. So I'm shaping that. Okay. Now, if I flip this over... So this is the bottom of my rose. You see my coil there. Here's the top of my rose. Okay, now what I'm gonna do on the bottom is I'm gonna go with my finger, just with the tip of my finger, and I smooth all of that out. Okay, so I'm doing this as an alternative to slip and score. It would be better to slip and score this, but that would take a lot longer. And I think if you smooth all this out, smooth all that together, your rose will hold together. Okay? And then, if you want to just leave it like that, you can shape it a little bit more if you need to. You feel like it might get flattened out a little bit. Okay? You can take your tools. I had a toothpick. And I don't know what happened to it. I think I lost it when I was doing my setup here. 
Okay, so you can shape your rows, make it look pretty. Pinch, I'm just pinching those petals on top because they got a little flattened out when I was smoothing out my bottom. Okay. Don't overwork it. Don't work it too much. Like I think I'm going to stop right there. Now, if I want to add a leaf, I'm going to show you how to do that. Or if you wanted to, you could leave that just like that. Okay, I'm going to use this pencil. I want to fix this in the middle a little bit. Okay, I just wanted my middle part to be a little more defined. Okay, okay, so I like my rose. Now, if I wanted a leaf, I could take another little hunk of clay. See, that's not a lot of clay. Okay, that's just a little bit of clay. And I can just shape a leaf out of it. I don't wanna make this too terribly thin because if I make it too thin, my clay is not wet enough, it's starting to crack. Um, if I make this too thin, then when it dries, it will be more likely to break. So I definitely don't wanna do that, okay? Mine's pretty thick, that's about how thick mine is, okay? And again, it's something found in nature, so it's really not gonna be perfect. I don't want you to focus on making it perfect, okay? After this is fired and painted, if it looks natural like this, it will look beautiful, trust me. So don't focus on making it perfect, okay? Finished is better than perfect. Then I'm gonna take something, a tool. I have lost my toothpick, so I'm gonna use this pencil, but please don't use a pencil in class. Use a tool, I have clay tools. Um, and then I'm gonna just put the veins of my leaf, okay? Okay, and I don't have to do a lot. I can just do a little bit. And this I am going to score so I can attach it to the bottom of my, my rose here. And I need to score the bottom. Score the bottom of my flower there. Okay, so I have my leaf scored. I have my rose scored. I need to get that wet. Okay, so I've got my water, okay, and I have slip in the classroom. You can use slip for this. It will work so much better than water. Miss Lutz is doing this at her house, so I didn't bring everything, okay? And then I can attach that to the bottom. Be careful when you're attaching this that you don't squish your petals that you worked really hard on. This clay is dried out. If you see your clay cracking, and um, if you see little cracks in it, can you see that? Like that? Then your clay probably needs to be wet a little bit. It gets the clay gets like that when it gets handled a lot, and um, when it's older, when it's so. You see that, just get it wet. All right, so notice I smoothed it out. I have to go back and fix my petals a little bit. Fix those, okay. Now, now I've got this all attached. That's what it looks like. So I need to very carefully take my tool and I'd write my name on the bottom of it because I want to know whose beautiful flower this is. So I'm going to write Lutz, okay? And on the bottom of yours, you would write your name, okay? And you can make as many of these as you have time to make in class, okay? So they don't take very long at all, and they'll look really pretty once they're dried and fired and painted. So that's what we're doing with our clay. Oh, I messed the camera up.
trying to lift it so you can see. All right. Here are your clay roses. 